space rock this morning after pulling it from a lake on Wednesday. It's part of a meteor that exploded in the sky over Russia this past winter. Precious rock samples known as meteorites contain materials that date back 4.6 billion years to the solar system's formation. This is a Sakodaline meteorite, an iron meteorite. Some meteorites are bigger than others. Join us as we look at objects that fall from the sky and land on Earth. 20. Superconducting Meteorite For the first time, superconducting material from space has been found by scientists in the grains of two distinct meteorites that have fallen to Earth. According to the research, meteorites are more than just space debris that falls from the sky. The two meteorites have been shown to contain components older than the solar system, unknown minerals, and extraterrestrial proteins in recent studies. These naturally occurring superconducting materials are unusual, but they are very significant because they can be superconducted in the outer space environment. Scientists found signs of superconducting conductivity in samples by using microwave spectroscopy techniques. As a result, two meteorites, the uncommon Urielite meteorite GRA95205 in Antarctica, discovered 25 years ago, and the Mundrabilla iron meteorite, discovered in Australia in 1911, have these superconduction features. 19. Fukong Meteorite A hiker in 2000 came onto something amazing while strolling close to the Fukong Mountains in China. The amazing stony iron meteorite boulder, known as the Fukong meteorite, is teeming with crystals that resemble honeycombs. Currently, it is the most well-known meteorite worldwide. But what makes it unique? The Fukong meteorite is a member of the uncommon palisites class of meteorites. They are distinguished by networks of nickel iron metal that include olivine crystals, a silicate mineral. Palisites are an amazing arrangement of translucent crystals that are usually green in color when cut and polished, but occasionally have distinct yellow, brown, or gold tones from weathering while on Earth. Palisites are said to be among the earliest officially acknowledged extraterrestrial elements because of their remarkable and unique look. Given that they were produced approximately 4.5 billion years ago, they offer a special and significant window into the deep interior of our solar system. It is believed that distinct asteroids created the rocks. Although the hiker who discovered the meteorite had previously spotted it, he was intrigued by the unusual metals and crystals that seemed to be protruding from the 2000 1,211 pound object. In the end, he made the decision to send a rock sample for examination. In our thumbnail, we can see what looks like a spaceship crashing on the ground. Is it a spaceship or a meteorite? Why don't let us know what you think in the comments below? 18. Blood rain. A phenomena known as blood rain or red rain occurs when people believe blood to be falling from the sky like rain. Cases are common and date back to Homer's Iliad, which was written in the 8th century BC. It was widely accepted before the 17th century that the rain was truly blood. Literature imitates cult beliefs, where the seeing of blood rain was interpreted as a negative portent. It was employed as a means of hinting at future events, some of which may have been literary devices, and others may have been historical happenings. Today, scientists agree that the green microalgae, Trentapolia annulata's aerial spores, are the source of the blood rain events. Blood rain events that have been documented often affect tiny areas. The length can change. It can go from a few hours to several days at times. By the 17th century, attempts to explain the occurrence with natural causes had replaced supernatural ones. Blood rains were investigated scientifically in the 19th century, and beliefs that the water's crimson color was caused by dust gained traction. The two most widely accepted hypotheses of today are that rain is created by either microorganisms or red dust suspended in the water, sometimes known as rain dust. Some historical depictions of crimson aurorae have been explained in alternative ways, such as their appearance as rain or blood. 17. Muddy Rain After both Sydney and Melbourne saw torrential brown rain, locals posted pictures of their filthy homes, automobiles, and swimming pools. A significant dust storm that was sweeping through northwest Victoria and South Australia was the cause of the dirty rain. Sydney's overnight rains caused automobiles and other vehicles to turn brown, and many people shared the damage on social media. Brown rain earlier in Melbourne delayed the Australian Open when high-pressure cleaning of the courts was necessary. Following the downpour, the Yarra River, gutters, and pools all turned brown. Among the dramatic weather phenomena that hit Australia were dust storms and the brown rain that followed. Large hail also struck Sydney, Melbourne, and Canberra, and the intense heat increased the risk of bushfires, forcing Canberra Airport to be temporarily closed. 16. Strange Object in Tadpole Garden Village Early in the morning, a bizarre lit object was seen dropping from the sky, leaving a father and daughter confused. Around 4.40 in the morning, Adelini Barros, a resident of Tadpole Garden Village, noticed the stream of light in the night sky while driving back to his house. 
He managed to stop and capture a clear photo and a video of the strange scene on his phone. Because of how slowly it was traveling, Adelino initially believed it might have been something on his car's windscreen. However, it was visible in the sky when he got out of the car. It was unquestionably extremely slow, probably 20 seconds or so, with the same kind of unchanging flashing light. The meteorite was located, and its origin was ascertained with the aid of fireball footage. The unique meteorite, weighing over 300 grams, made it through the Earth's atmosphere in flames and landed on a drive. After it was spotted, further fragments of it were subsequently found nearby. When the initial space rock entered the Earth's atmosphere, it was traveling at a speed of about 14 kilometers per second. According to experts, the meteorite was discovered so rapidly after it fell, and in such excellent shape that its quality and quantity were on par with samples returned from space missions. 15. Space Junk In Saudi Arabia, on January 12, 2001, a payload assist module, Delta Upper Stage, having spent over eight years in orbit, re-entered Earth's atmosphere. One major part of the spacecraft was retrieved in Saudi Arabia. Launched on May 13, 1993, the stage and GPS satellite were placed in an orbit measuring 180 kilometers by 20,340 kilometers with an inclination of 34.9 degrees. A Thiokol Corporation Star 48B solid rocket motor serves as the brains of the PAMD. Following burnout, the star 48B measured 2.0 meters in length, 1.2 meters in diameter, with a mass of roughly 130 kilograms. Since the beginning of the year, the stage had been experiencing a swift and catastrophic orbital degradation, with its orbit decreasing from 145 kilometers to 800 kilometers in one week. One sizable part was discovered approximately 240 kilometers from the capital city of Riyadh during the evening of re-entry over the sparse populated desert. The main titanium casing of the star 48B, weighing roughly 70 kilograms, remained present, albeit the majority of the phenolic nozzle had burned away or broke off. The identification was further supported by the obvious presence of a Boeing component number on the casing. 14. Myanmar Debris A big metal object dropped from the sky into a northern Myanmar jade mining region, causing panic for the villagers. Situated in Kachin State, the cylindrical item measures 15 feet in length and 3 feet in width. Almost at the same time, a different piece of metal bearing Chinese calligraphy tore through the roof of an adjacent house. Fortunately, no injuries were recorded. The incident is believed to have something to do with a Chinese satellite launch. It fell in a swampy section of the mine after bouncing 150 feet into the air. When the explosion caused their houses to tremble and they noticed smoke nearby, the villagers initially believed there was a battle going on. The item had an unpleasant odor in the air. The metal objects are thought to be components of a satellite or aircraft or missile engine. The object looked to be the same size and shape as a stage or component of a rocket. Rocket stages are meant to plummet into a body of water or deserted locations. The government of Kachin stated it was not able to identify the object immediately. 13. Rainbow Meteorite in Costa Rica The basic elements of life might be contained in a tiny, rainbow-colored meteorite that was found in Costa Rica. The asteroid was previously associated with an asteroid the size of a washing machine that collided with Earth on April 23, 2019, strewing debris across the villages of La Palmera and Aguas Zarcas. The meteorite known as Aguas Zarcas may be composed of intricate carbon compounds, and the asteroid was a relic from the early solar system. Because it is composed of the same early Milky Way dust that was discovered to contain amino acids in a different meteor that erupted above Murchison, Australia in 1969, scientists think it may contain complex chemical molecules. Though the scientific community has not yet validated it, it hopes to identify proteins inside the new species. The boulder, which weighed about 2.4 pounds, was examined in the home where it fell using specialized tools from the School of Geology's Petrography and Geochemistry section. Scientists have dubbed the rock Agua Zarcas and determined it is a carbonaceous chondrite that formed before our sun. They have been examining the rock for over a year and hope to unravel more interesting facts. 12. Hoba Meteorite The farm Hoba West, which is located in the Achazan Jupa region of Namibia, not far from Grootfontein, is the source of the meteorite's name, Hoba. After it was found, it was never removed from its original location because of its sheer size. The estimate of the main bulk exceeds 60 tons. It is roughly twice as huge as the largest fragment of the 31-ton Gansedo from the Campo del Cielo in Argentina, or the 31-ton Anaguito from the Cape York meteorite housed in the American Museum of Natural History. It is the largest known entire meteorite still in one piece. Furthermore, it is the largest known naturally produced iron fragment on Earth's surface. The name Hoba comes from a Kukogawab word, meaning gift. Following its donation to the government in 1987, 
A visitor center was constructed with a circular stone access and seating area. 11. The Ensishim Meteorite A rocky meteorite known as the Ensishim Meteorite fell in a wheat field outside the walled town of Ensishim in Alsace, northern Germany, on November 7, 1492, which is now France. The 16th century Musée de la Régence in Ensisheim still has the meteorite on display. It is the oldest known stony meteorite landing in Europe, where some meteoritic debris has survived. A crater one meter deep was left when the stone collided with a field near the edge of the former Austrian town of Ensisheim. The only person who saw the fall in the field was a small child who was able to direct the residents of Ensisheim to the location of the fall. A throng of interested onlookers immediately swarmed to view the crater. The event is significant because it is the oldest meteorite fall that a large population has been able to see. The shattering roar is reported to have been audible over a 150 kilometer radius. It is reported that the explosion caused by the meteorite breaking through the atmosphere was audible in Lucerne, central Switzerland, rather than Ensisheim. 10. Oakville Blobs While on patrol in his cruiser in Oakville, Washington, policeman David Lacey observed it had started to rain in August of 1994. In Oakville, where raindrops may pelt cars 275 days a year, this was not out of the ordinary. However, this storm appeared odd in some way. Upon using his wipers, Lacey observed that the rain was not being removed. It appeared to smear as if someone had spread petroleum jelly throughout the vehicle. Lacey put on gloves and felt the viscous, goopy material when he pulled over at a petrol station. The sky above Oakville had opened up somehow, revealing a bewildering mystery. Though confused, Officer Lacey was unconcerned until he started feeling sick. What then were the blobs from Oakville? There is a vociferous but small minority that thinks they were jellyfish. Specifically, the Air Force bombing runs scattered jellyfish bits into rain clouds. This theory is unsupported. Even though the bombing was proved to have occurred in the Pacific, some 50 miles away, another option that was brought up at the time was fluid waste from an airplane toilet. 9. Michigan Meteorite A large meteorite valued at over $100,000 was discovered within a boulder that had been used for over 30 years as a barn doorstop on a farm in Michigan. It is thought that the 22-pound meteorite landed on an Edmore, Michigan farm in the 1930s. The meteorite was acquired by the man who bought the farm in 1988 and transported the space rock to central Michigan. Michigan University for analysis. Experts had examined rocks before for a lot of people, but they knew this time was different. It turns out that this meteorite may be worth $100,000 and is the sixth largest meteorite ever discovered in Michigan. The previous owners claimed to have seen a meteorite fall from the sky in the 1930s, and this information was shared with the man when he bought the farm in 1988. The farmer and his son went outside to get the object in the morning, and they found it was still warm. The rock had left a crater in the ground as it plummeted to earth. After the present owner bought the farm 30 years ago, the boulder was still used as the barn doorstop. However, the present owner of the farm questioned the value of his doorstop when individuals discovered tiny meteorites following the meteor that shot over the skies of Michigan a few years back. Whether the meteorite will be sold to a collector or a museum to be displayed is still up in the air for the farmer. The piece is being considered for purchase by a main institution as well as the Smithsonian. In any case, the individual individual has pledged to give CMU some money after the meteorite is sold. Nonetheless, the university's pupils have already profited from being allowed to handle a genuine meteorite. 8. Worm Rain It was revealed in a widely circulated social media video that worms are falling heavily in China. The footage, which was taken in Beijing's capital city, showed cars and roadways coated in what appeared to be worms. In the video, various worm-like insects are seen covering cars in Beijing. The creatures, which looked like clusters of worm-like dusty brown creatures, were all over cars parked along roadsides in Beijing. People were spotted using umbrellas to protect themselves from the worms that were dropping from the sky. Experts that the slimy critters were dumped after being carried away by strong winds, while the exact cause of the worm rain is yet unknown. This kind of thing usually happens when insects get sucked into a vortex after a storm. 7. 2.8 kilogram object. Locals in Sanchore, Rajasthan, are perplexed by an object that appears to be a meteorite that is falling from the sky. A one foot deep crater on Earth was caused by an object that fell from the sky, according to officials. The object weighed about 2.78 kilograms. Its collapse produced an enormous explosion like sound that reverberated over a two kilometer length. The residents alerted the local administration and police station to an explosion sound. Police were astounded to see the piece, which was quite hot, when they arrived at the scene. After after allowing the heat-emitting object to cool, it was placed in a jar and transported to the police station. It looked like a fragment of meteorite that had been taken and stored securely so that it could be taken to a lab for additional analysis.
6. Sakote Alan Meteorite The Sakote Alan Meteorite Fall remains the greatest meteorite shower witnessed in contemporary times. On February 12, 1947, it occurred in eastern Siberia. A fireball traveled from north to south in broad daylight and dispersed into the Earth's atmosphere at 10.38 a.m. local time. The debris blanketed an elliptical region of 1.6 square kilometers on the Sakote Alan Mountains' snow-covered western spurs. Russian experts gathered several eyewitness accounts from up to 100 and 80 kilometers away from the fall and conducted considerable research on the event. Shikodi Alin is now one of the best-known meteorite falls in history, thanks to their efforts. The pre-atmospheric size of the Sakoti corpse that hit the Earth was estimated to be 1,000 metric tons and more than 70 tons when dust was included. The meteorite was completely broken up at an altitude of only 4 to 6 kilometers. 5. Allen Hills 84001 Allen Hills 84001 is a shard of a Martian meteorite discovered on December 27, 1984, in the Allen Hills of Antarctica by an ANSMET team of American meteorite hunters. ALH 84001 is assumed to have been born on Mars. It does not, however, fit into any of the previously known SNC groupings. It weighed 4.3 pounds when discovered. In 1996, a group of scientists discovered features in the meteorite that resembled small fossils of bacteria, implying that these species evolved on Mars as well. The assertions instantly made news across the world, culminating in a speech by U.S. President Bill Clinton about the probable finding. These assertions were controversial from the start, and the wider scientific community eventually rejected the hypothesis after all of the odd properties in the meteorite were explained without necessitating the presence of life. Despite the lack of conclusive evidence of Martian life, the initial study and the massive scientific and public attention it generated are regarded as watershed moments in the history of the emerging science of astrobiology. 4. Mysterious Object on Australian Beach The big, enigmatic item found on an Australian beach has been recognized as Indian rocket debris. When the massive barnacle-covered cylinder was found on Western Australia's Greenhead Beach, many were baffled as to its origins, however. Early speculations suggested it might have been space junk. A more specific determination was made by the Australian Space Agency, which stated that the item was most likely debris from an extended third stage of a polar satellite launch vehicle. 3. The Cape York Meteorite One of the largest known iron meteorites, the Cape York Meteorite is categorized as a medium octahedrite in chemical group 3AB. At least eight major shards totaling 58 tons have been found, with the largest weighing 31 tons, in addition to numerous tiny fragments. The largest fragment of the meteorite was discovered in Greenland, 23 miles east of Cape York. This area is where the meteorite got its name. 2. Baltic Sea Anomaly Explorers say they are one step closer to solving the mystery surrounding the 140,000-year-old Baltic Sea Anomaly. The Baltic Sea Anomaly, which bears a striking resemblance to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon, appears to be made up of angular metal parts, sparking reports that it is a crashed UFO. There is a peak maybe 20 to 25 meters tall, with a canyon in the center, and a lot of loose rocks below it. There are two trails available. There is the one that takes you to this big circle. Then, about 200 meters from the round circle, there is another trail that leads to the second object. Geologists and marine biologists were approached and informed that nothing like this had ever happened before. Some speculate the object may be an anti-submarine weapon from World War II, a battleship gun turret, or a flying saucer. Despite its appearance as a massive rock, scientists believe the structure is made of metal. 1. John's Stone On June 30, 1908, an asteroid entered the Earth's atmosphere and exploded over Siberia. Locals in the sparsely populated area said they saw a fireball and heard a large explosion. Fortunately, a Tunguska-type event is only expected to occur once every century on average. A meteor crater impact is expected once every million years. However, it is difficult to predict how frequently such events might occur. I have never seen a meteorite land anywhere, but I'm quite sure it must be an unforgettable experience. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.